Hi, today we meet again for the continuation of chapter 15 from Forecast SM that is on reproduction, development and growth in humans and animals and for form 5 KBSM it is on chapter 4, reproduction and growth. For the content standard for KSSM form 4, it is on 15.3 menstrual cycle. The learning standards 15.3.1 uh, analyze the changes in the level of hormones involved during menstruation, during follicle development, during thickening of endometrium, during ovulation, and during corpus luteum formation. The learning objective under KBSM Form 5 is 4.2, analyzing the hormones in the menstrual cycle. The learning outcome, number one, state what menstruation is. Number two, relate menstruation to menstrual cycle. Number three, state the importance of menstrual cycle. Number four, state the hormones involved in menstrual cycle. Number five, relate hormonal levels to the development of follicles, to the process of ovulation, and to the formation of corpus luteum. Number five, Sorry, number six, relate hormonal levels to the changes in thickness of endometrium. And the last one, explain the role of hormones in regulating menstrual cycle. What is menstrual cycle? Well, menstrual cycle is a monthly cycle that occurs in female. And there are two important processes involved in menstrual cycle. That is first, ovulation. And the second one is menstruation. If you still remember from the previous topic, we have learned about ovulation. So ovulation is the release of secondary oocyte from the ovary into the fallopian tube. So that is ovulation. The menstrual cycle involves the production of secondary oocyte just now and it also involves in the thickening of the endometrium wall. In this cycle, this endometrium wall will be soft, thick, and uh, rich with blood vessels. Why? This is to prepare for the endometrium for the embryo implantation. But if fertilization does not take place, the secondary oocyte will die, and the endometrium, this endometrium wall, will break down. Okay, and then. It will move up to the vagina and the, the move out of the endometrium wall is known as menstruation. Why is menstrual cycle important? The first reason, it is to prepare the inner lining of the uterus just now, the endometrium wall, to receive a fertilized ovum. That is for the implantation of embryo. Number two, the menstrual cycle controls the development of mature ova and also controls the process of ovulation and ensures that they occur simultaneously with the thickening of endometrium. There are four important hormones involved in the menstrual cycle. The first one is follicle stimulating hormone or FSH. And the gland that secreted is pituitary gland. And the function is to stimulate the follicle growth in the ovary. If you still remember, follicle is surrounding the primary oocyte or secondary oocyte. And FSH also stimulate the release of estrogen released by the follicle. And then we have luteinizing hormone, LH, also secretion by pituitary gland. The function, the first one, LH simulate, uh, simulate the process of ovulation. LH also causes the formation of corpus luteum. LH also stimulate this corpus luteum to produce hormone progesterone. And the third hormone involved in menstrual cycle is estrogen. Remember just now, estrogen is produced by the follicle growth in the ovary. So the function, the first one, is to repair and stimulate the thickening of endometrium. And the second one, stimulate the follicle growth until it mature. At high level, 
the estrogen will stimulate FSH and LH to be released prior to ovulation but at low level estrogen inhibit the secretion of FSH and LH and the last one is progesterone secretion by the corpus luteum just now which happened in the ovary so the function is to stimulate the thickening of endometrium making the endometrium to be thick folded and rich with the blood vessel that is waiting for the implantation of embryo at high level of progesterone it will inhibit the release of fsh and lh to prevent the follicle growth and ovulation to occur now we look at the menstrual cycle starting from day zero to day five zero to day five okay, zero to day five bear in mind the first graph is on hormone level the second one is on follicle development and the third graph is on the thickness of the endometrium wall. Okay, from day 0 to day 5, what happened is the level of estrogen and progesterone is low. You can see here, it will cause the endometrium wall to break down and shed down the blood vessel. So the blood vessel burst and it shed down to the vagina. This is what we call as menstruation. Menstruation occurs. Now, actually, menstrual cycle begins a day before menstruation when the hypothalamus releases the gonadotrophin releasing hormone or in short, GnRH. This GnRH stimulates the pituitary gland to release follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. Now, we focus on day 6 to day 14. 6 around here to day 14. Okay. Alright. On day 6, okay, if you still remember just now, there was a release of FSH. So, the, this FSH will trigger the development of primary follicle going to be graphene follicle. So FSH simulate the maturing follicle in the ovary so that the follicle can secrete estrogen. On day 12, on day 12, estrogen level that is pink in color, okay, we stimulate the hypothalamus to secrete GnRH via positive feedback mechanism. Positive feedback mechanism means going up one hormone going up, the other also going up. So high level of GnRH then stimulate the pituitary gland to secrete more FSH and LH. Right? So that is why after day 12, you can see the LH and FSH going up. So when the LH rises until it peaks on the day 13, okay, it's peak on day 13, Okay, leading to the process of ovulation. Okay, that is the releasing of secondary oocyte from graphene follicle into the fallopian tube on day 14. Okay, so meaning on day 14, you are most fertile. Okay, LH also stimulate the formation of corpus luteum. Now we look at day 15 until day 21. 15 until 21. So on day 15, the LH will stimulate the corpus luteum to secrete estrogen and progesterone. Progesterone purple in color, estrogen pink in color. So the progesterone will stimulate the development of the blood vessel in the endometrium. Endometrium will repair uh, and then become Thicken, start to become thickened. Then high concentration of progesterone will inhibit the production of FSH and LH. That is negative feedback mechanism. Now, the from day 22 until day 28. Okay. If the secondary oocyte is not fertilized by the ovum, then the corpus luteum, you can see the corpus luteum, start to degenerate and die. 
Okay, as corpus luteum degenerate, of course, the level of progesterone will become less because progesterone is secreted by the uh, corpus luteum. The low level of progesterone will cause the endometrium wall to break down again. Okay, meaning maceration occur again and the cycle repeat. So overall, you can see that the cycle normally happens within 28 days. We have come to the end of today's lesson. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you want to take the quiz on this topic, uh, click at the link in the info section below. See you next time. Bye.